Hi there, in this video we'll review the Hannah Hotel in Seoul and we'll show you the room that we stayed in and for some reason also robots and dinosaurs. We've arrived in Seoul, South Korea and we decided to stay at the Hannah Hotel. The hotel is located in an area called Myeongdong which is known as the tourist center of Seoul. The metro station is a 4 minute walk away and you're right in the buzzing tourist center of Seoul with many stores, restaurants and a night market nearby. Upon entering the hotel, it looks to be pretty standard, but once you're in there, there's a little surprise waiting for you. You're welcomed by not one, but two dinosaurs. And when at the reception desk, there are no employees, rather robots greeting you. This is by far the most unique welcome we've had, but I got to say it was also a little unnerving. The robots cannot check you in, unfortunately. You have to do that yourself at the check-in machine by typing in your name and scanning your passport. You'll then receive your room keys and a ticket with information about your stay. We booked an extra twin room for 128 euros per night, excluding breakfast, and our room was on the 8th floor. So let's knock and see who's there. As always, we're greeted by the lovely Lawrence and we step into the room. Here's a quick peek at the room already, but more about that later. Let's first head into the bathroom. Here you'll find a sink and also a separate bathtub and shower combo. What's nice about this room is that the toilet is separate and it is one with the cool bidet functions which we were super grateful for because we were not ready to say goodbye to those yet. And oh look, it's Lawrence looking outside the window hoping for more likes and subscribers for our channel. Please help the man out dear viewers. There's also a big smart TV in the room with all kinds of functions and a desk table that you can close just like that. At the end of the room there is a little service station with mugs and a small amenity kit. If you want to have a razor or a toothbrush you do have to buy that extra and I believe the robot will bring them to you. But I'm not sure about that. There's also a safe that looks more like a locker and underneath there's a fridge that of course doesn't open correctly on the first try and comes with complimentary water. As for the twin beds, the beds were firm but a little bouncy. Unfortunately there was only one pillow, we called the reception and asked if we could get two extra but they said that wasn't possible, which we did find a bit disappointing. Luckily, it was only for two nights. Calling the reception you can do via the in-room smart assistant. It allows you to call and voice activate the TV, although it doesn't always work. Follow Yes and Explore on YouTube. Start YouTube. Well, got one part right, so that's good. Then let's go over to the window and check out our view. And right here, there's our view of, well, thing. But the double window thing was good against noise. We do not have any noise complaints. And here's one more overview of the room. If you take the elevator all the way downstairs, you'll find a smoking room and also a laundry, microwave and ice maker, which are always nice features to have. And for the laundry, you can also buy laundry detergent at the spot, so that makes it pretty easy. Checkout went nice and easy as well. You have to do the same steps you did when you checked in, except now you have to just put a guard into the machine, so that was fairly easy. Overall, we thought the hotel was just okay. 
We felt the price was slightly too high and it was difficult to catch someone from the hotel staff as they're only reachable by phone and or are a robot. Those and the dinosaurs were a fun gimmick but didn't really add anything extra. We did enjoy Seoul and we'll be trying out another hotel, but first we're going to Busan by train. So stay tuned for that adventure and don't forget that if you want to see more, subscribe to us at Jess and Explore. Bye!